I'm Geodav and what I'm going to do in this, let's say, mini-series, well I hope it's going to be a mini-series, is pretty much what I did for the UDK when that was released. And that is pretty much making, well I say making, all we're, all we're going to do is go through the process of making a very, very simple game. And it's going to be simple because I'm not going to make anything. I'm just going to use the template game. And we're going to go through and look at the options that we have. Uh, dealing with a few things with the locations, uh, folders and things like that. And then move on to actually packaging, well cooking, packaging few of the differences and distribution now I'm not don't get any any ideas that I'm going to start going on about steam or live or anything like that when I say distribution I mean passing the game that you've made on to your mates or your friends or whatever okay it's just purely for a testing purposes now before we go any further, during this series, if you have any problems with the tutorials or any of the, the other Unreal Engine 4 tutorials or Blender to Unreal 4 t tutorials, you have any problems with it, please post on Geodav's UE4 tutorial support thread. Okay, you can find this on in the... Uh, Unreal Engine, well, let's say forums, unrealengine.com, and it's under the community content tools and tutorials. It's probably right at the bottom somewhere because I'm not going to sticky it. I'll leave that for somebody who's more important. I probably could, but uh, no. Right. Now, if you've got any problems, like I say, post on there. Just search through thread names use your advanced search or whatever geodavs and you'll find it okay i'll probably put a link in the uh, in the main file some well youtube bit i think i can do that now right let's get on with it now at the moment i'm using unreal engine 4.02 click launch now as you can see i've already downloaded quite a bit of that and as you can see here I've got quite a few bits and pieces yes now go on to new project and what I'm going to do I'm just going to go for the template first person BP blueprint I do not want the starter content okay you might say um, why I'll show you in a minute so what we're going to do is just give it a name, TP, BP, FPS game. Now, normally if you've just start starting up and you've never done this before, if you hit create project, it will put that in your user documents, Unreal projects on your C drive. Now, if you don't want that, you've got the option. You go like that, click on that button, and you can choose your folder. Now, because I've done this a few times, you can see it's, uh, I've actually created, I had to create this Unreal Projects folder. I click, chose that folder, and it will go straight in there, and I'll click Create Project. And they go, yeehaw. Now, as you can see here, first person, TPBP FPS game. Now, I'm not going to go any further with this at the moment in time. Well, I am. Because what the first thing that I do when I've created a new project, and you might have seen this in my quick tips, I go up to editor preferences, use small two bar icons, go dink, set default, yeah, and I've now got my full toolbar up there and they're a bit smaller. Doesn't make these smaller. Hmm. Anyway, 
I'm not I'm going to bear with it and I'm not going to change any of the default settings on this I'm not going to I might move the the windows about a bit or like that because I've only got a small screen and we'll deal with that in in the near future but let's see if I just go in here and uh, Unreal Projects, here we go. Now, just a quick one for you. Now, as you can see, I've got quite a few bits and pieces already in here. Now, the reason why I said I didn't want the default content or the startup content. Now, if I go on to Bodge, all right, please bear with me. It is the Bodge is an FPS blueprint game type or get game with the complete content now I know it says German it's in German but properties no that's not doing it uh, all right now nine, nine megabytes smashing and if I go to my documents and let's see if I can find one on real projects and let's see was it that one that comes in at seven megabyte uh, seven gigabytes that one comes in at seven gigabytes uh, seven gigabytes 700 megabytes and is it that one it's about 700 megabytes now because i'm doing this as a let's say a quick go just to show you i don't really need the whole default content now i might set one up just to show you the difference and to sh show you some of the options but we'll just leave it at the moment like that and i'll have to get rid of these ones uh, yeah i i know what that is uh, i've been playing with the github version of uh, unreal engine but anyway just keep, keep things nice and small and we'll have a look in here in a minute okay so i'll just stop that video and I'll be back in a moment.